A short time ago, I spoke with Met Service meteorologist Georgina Griffiths and asked her if Tolaga Bay had seen the end of the bad weather. Yes, mostly. Pretty much. All, nearly all gone. Mm-hmm. What about the rest of the country? Oh, now we, um, yeah, I mean, we're about to change track very strongly with the strong cold southerly coming up, pushing up the country. It's um, affecting the far south of the country already. And as that moves through Christchurch tonight and across the remainder of the North Island tomorrow, um, first of all, we're going to feel very cold. That strong to gale southerly has got bite on the temperatures and the wind chill will be very poor. However, the, the most important thing, I think, for people who are trying to travel tomorrow is um, the amount of snow we're expecting, where we're expecting, we'll talk some details in a minute, and the fact that we have road snow warnings in force for all of the usual South Island roads and some of the North Island ones too. So really, I mean, there's a heavy snow watch in place for Fiordland, Southland and Otago. We expect snow to 200 metres overnight down in places like Otago, Southland. And so the hill suburbs of Dunedin, for example, might see um, some flurries. Um, we've actually got a road snow and force for Dunedin to Waitati, State Highway 1, um, with a couple of centimetres on top of the summit accumulation overnight. So that, that's a, um, a transport board issue. And of course, we've got... Um, Road snow warnings with more significant accumulations in place for Lewis, Arthur's, Porters and Limbus passes, also the Crown Range Road overnight and into tomorrow morning, four to six centimetres at the top of the road for the Crown Range. Also got a couple of centimetres on the Rimataka Hill Road tomorrow morning and afternoon, so it's really Wednesday problem or afternoon for the North Island where we have that southerly causing some problems on the Rimataka Hill Road. And Napier Tolpo Road, um, Tomorrow afternoon and evening should accumulate two to five centimetres at the top and the desert road, quite a significant uh, road snow of four to six centimetres at the summit. So everywhere on those high elevation roads of New Zealand in the next 24 hours, see some snow on the road. So that, that's really important for people who are trying to travel to, to remember. Um, and also significant accumulations above about 400 metres in the inland South Island, including Canterbury, Banks Peninsula, and, of course, um, Fiordland, South and Otago. And how long is that cold blast going to last for? Well, the snow more or less eases off in the south um, by about lunchtime, depending on where you are, uh, and in, um, Wednesday evening, tomorrow evening, for the North Island, more or less. The, the showers in the southerlies continue into Thursday, that cold breeze, strong cold breeze, but they, it, it does start to um, gradually ease off both showers and wind strength on Thursday. Um, I guess... For people who live in, um, you know, sea level, it's not really about the snow. It's also that heavy rain getting into places like Dunedin. It's, um, you know, a heavy rain event um, at sea level, of course, for places like Dunedin, Omaru, Timaru and um, Canterbury. Periods of rain from tonight and overnight and first thing in the morning and then easing. And that's, that rain has risk of being heavy. And, you know, if you think about how much rain the eastern areas of both islands have had this year, that they don't want any more. That they've simply had enough of the rain. So, yeah. So it's a um, you know a cold event and a wet one for the eastern areas, of course. And Wellington doesn't look too pretty, but you know it's only a watch for snow. It doesn't quite meet warning criteria, and it's more or less gone by Thursday afternoon. And that's the Met Service meteorologist Georgina Griffiths.